Hello, this is the second part of the Complete World Model Tutorial for Team Fortress 2. So, uh, this uh, video will talk about how to model um, with Blender, how to import um, a, half, or a Team Fortress 2 character, and then how to UV unwrap your model so you can get it ready to texture. So the first thing you want to do is um, you want to stay organized, and so um, a trick that I've learned from other people is to create a folder on your desktop with the name of your item. It doesn't have to be the exact name, you can change it later. And the folder should have uh, three other folders inside it. Input, Output, and Textures. Um, and I'll explain what these uh, three folders do in a minute. Now, um, inside of the main folder, this is where you're going to save all of your other files. So let's begin by opening up Blender right here. And this is what the default screen should look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click in this area down here and we're going to go uh, click uh, split area and then just kind of choose in the middle here so you'll get two views. If you hit uh, the 7 key on the on the um, uh, the right side on the numpad you'll get the top view and over here if you hit 1 you'll get the front view. And um, if these names uh, aren't showing up for you what you can do is you can just click here and then drag this down and then uh, you should get um, a little menu um, just click view names and then over here turn on auto perspective that's also um, nifty so you can close that back now we're ready to model now I'm gonna assume that you've kind of read through some of the blender tutorials I've linked you to if you haven't seen those please check out the first video there's a, a bunch of useful links um, but as of now uh, we'll just begin modeling there I'm gonna uh, take you through some useful um, uh, hotkeys and stuff but let's say I want to make a bucket hat. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this uh, default cube by right-clicking it, hitting delete, and pressing uh, left mouse button. Um, when we're actually modeling, we're going to need one of the Team Fortress 2 characters so that we can fit our model um, to scale um, through Blender. But don't worry about it perfectly. We'll do all of the uh, uh, scaling and orientation um, w with milk shape. So just click File, Import, Half Life 2 SMD, Static Mesh, and then what you want to do is you want to go to your C drive, uh, your program files, um, Steam, let me find it, it's right here, Steam Apps, uh, your name, Source SDK content, TF, models SRC, player, and then this is going to be for the, uh, let's just say heavy. So I'm just going to click heavy, um, parts, and then the SMD. The SMD is what you want because that's the actual model, the source SMD model. Um, click import SMD. It'll take a couple seconds. You need to have the SMD importer installed for this to work properly. Uh, give me a second here. My computer is not responding. Okay, there we go. Now the only problem with Blender is that when it imports a model, uh, when it imports an SMD, um, it imports it at 40 times smaller its actual size. So to fix that, just select it by right-clicking it, press S, and type 40, hit enter, um, and then this is the actual model. What you can do is you can go ahead and just get rid of this. We don't need that. Or actually, um select the uh, the bone you can just delete or wait a second well you, you can just leave that for now we don't need to bother with that um, so now here's where we can start modeling our hat or let's say an item or whatever you want so I'm just gonna uh, regularly click here left mouse click on top of his head that's that's where it's selected um, I'm just gonna reposition the view here um, some useful uh, keys that you need to know are um, middle mouse button. If you click that, you can rotate the uh, view so that you can check around. If you press shift and middle mouse button, you can pan. And if you scroll, you can zoom in and out. Um, right clicking selects objects. Pressing A it selects all objects and it toggles uh, between deselecting them as well. The S key uh, scales your model. The R key rotates your model. The G key moves your model. And all of these things can be uh, combined with the middle mouse button to toggle which axis uh, you want it to uh, be specified to. So for example, if I wanted to scale the heavy 
uh, in just a certain axis, I just press S, and then I click middle mouse button until the axis I want, and then I just release it, and then I'll scale him only in one way, as opposed to scaling him um, to, to scale, is what we call it. So, uh, now that you know that, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to hit A again to deselect all, uh, click above his head, press spacebar, add, mesh, and then cylinder select 16 vertices and press OK and that'll give us a, a nice cylinder but it's in the wrong uh, rotation so we're just gonna press R and I'm gonna type 90 and then press middle mouse button so we can get it to this axis right here and then just press left mouse button and now we have it um, in the correct orientation so we're gonna press S to scale it how we want we're just gonna make a nice fit over his head here like so and so it's just going to be like a bucket helmet. Um, if you press tab, you go into edit mode. That's where you do all of your individual vertice editing and stuff like that. Um, again, all of the controls are the same. A selects all. You can select B. If you press the B key, you can select um, multiple vertices. If you press B twice, it pulls up this little circle, and you can use it to just drag select vertices. Um, and then alternatively you can just right click to select individual vertices um, and then again middle mouse button uh, rotates so we're just gonna model this hat around this heavy's head uh, I'm gonna scale it a little bit position it downwards um, maybe take these top vertices here scale it like this just then you know kind of a nice like almost lampshade. I'm not gonna do a super like intricate model for right now because we're just learning. Um, if you press alt and right click between two vertices it'll select that row of vertices, that, that little circle. So what we can do is um, for example we just want to get rid of this so we can make it the hat hollow. So we'll select the middle, delete it, select the row, press E to extrude. You see what it does? you can um, extrude it as so. Um, it just basically uh, makes another set of rectangles which you can use to um, pull it out or whatever, but what, what we're gonna do is instead just press E and then S so that we can scale the extrude right off the bat. So that just makes it a nice rim. And then we're just gonna extrude it again except upwards and then scale it as like this. E again, S and zero this time. So it makes a nice um, makes a nice, uh, let me show you, just so that your hat has some depth and it's not just a sharp like bucket that looks like it has razor sharp edges. So now that we're done with that, um, what we can do is um, go back into edit mode. What we're going to do is we're going to select all, press W and remove uh, doubles right here. So that just removes all of the vertices that are on top of each other. They're just they're not needed. They're very um just in the way. Um and they they don't help with UV mapping.